Hello everyone. We will continue the topic adding custom fields to the standard puppy. And in the previous videos, we successfully executed our program and five materials created with the custom fields. And we understood everything in the debugging mode. Now, in this video, we will firstly verify whatever we did is correct or not we added the custom fields to the standard table and bapi structure but ultimately the values should store in the table so we will check is the value is getting stored into table or not so i will go to sc11 transaction code in this Mara table, we added the two custom fields. I will go to the contents of the table. Now, I will put the material number which got created. This is the material number. PHA006 to PHA010. Now, I cannot see all the columns, so I will only choose those columns which are required. So how you can do that? You can go for settings, formal list, choose fields. We will go for Matena. Firstly, I will deselect Matena. MTART means material type, met industry sector, unit of measurement. And now we will go for two custom fields. ZZ system means legacy system identification and material type. So whenever you want to see the values of only selected column, you can choose from settings, formal list, choose fields. And you can choose only those columns for whatever the values you want to see. For those columns, you want to see the values. I will go to execute and you can see we are able to see the only six columns. Is this our material number? If we will compare it to our file, PHA006 to PHA010. Yes. So what is the material type? ZROH, ZROH. What is industry sector? P. What is unit of measurement? EA. Is this our two custom fields? LS1 for first two material, LS2 for second two material, LS3 for fifth material. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Is this the same to same data? Yes. This is your material type. V, O, V, O, V. Just see, we check the values of the custom fields and it's correctly, perfectly fine that we are able to add the custom field values to the standard table. Same way, we can check the description in MAKT table because verification is very important. If I will go for display, I will go to contents. We will put same to same five materials here also. And you can see, this is the description which we provided. This is the description which we provided. So you can easily, easily verify. We verified the values of the custom fields and it is available in the Mara table. Now, same way, we did everything into the SAP standard table and structure. We added the columns to the standard table of Mara we added the columns to the standard BAPI structures. So once you practice, please, please undo all these things because it should not be the case that others are getting impacted. So whenever you are dealing with the SAP object after practice, please, please undo all these things. So I will also undo these things. Firstly, I will go to Mara table. In the Mara table, we added the two columns using this particular append structure. So I will simply go to this append structure. This is the append structure which we created. So I will delete this. 
I will go for delete. Similarly, I will delete the append structure from SAP extension structures also. This is the structure which we used. In this structure, we added this append structure. We added the two columns. So I will go for append structure. I will delete this also. So it's always make a practice whenever you will practice something using SAP object. So after practice, please undo those things because others should not impact by your changes. So this is our second structure. I will go to append structure and I will delete. Okay, it got deleted from here. Now there is no columns available. There is no custom columns available in this. There is no custom columns available in this also. And you can see now the Mara table also activated. There is no our customized append structure and there is no customized columns in the Mara table also. So what is the full summary, full summary of this whole series? and most important requirement from the project perspective. Whenever you are getting this kind of requirement that you need to add custom fields to the BAPI, always, always go for these three golden steps. What is the first step? Firstly, add the custom fields to the BAPI extension structure. Suppose in this case, based upon our requirement, what are the extension structures we used? BAPI underscore TE underscore MARA, BAPI underscore TE underscore MARA X. Okay, this is the first step which you always have to do. Second, go for the tables in which you want to add the columns. Add the customized columns, add the custom columns to the standard table also. After adding the columns to the BAPI structure and the, uh, after adding the columns to the BAPI structure and SAP standard table, you need to use the parameters extension in and extension INX to pass the values of those custom fields. Rest is logic part, but these three are the golden steps always. Add the custom columns to the BAPI structure. Add the custom columns to the standard tables in which tables you want to store the values of those columns and then pass the values using these two parameters of that particular BAPI. So these three are the always, always golden steps whenever you want to add the custom fields to the BAPI. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.